We have the general operating levy and the debt levy. And the general operating levy for 2014 is remaining the same as 2013 at 1.5 million. The debt levy, there is going to be a slight increase in that, and that's primarily due to new debt that we're issuing at the end of this year. So that debt levy is to pay back bonds, so the principal and interest on bonds. Then you factor in fiscal disparities, which is a tax-based sharing program. And we're getting increased funding for that, so we are actually looking at a 1.5% decrease in the net levy. Even though we're seeing slight trends in market values going up, so people might see some increase in their, the market value of their homes, people are actually going to see a decrease in their taxes. The average homeowner, so if you're looking at a $150,000 home, we're estimating a decrease of about $93 in the city portion of their taxes. The City of St. Paul Park hasn't been immune to the struggles that other cities are seeing too. There's been a lot of cuts that we've had to make in the past several years, but we do have financial management plans that we review on a regular basis to help city leaders make those choices, both current and long-term, to make sure that we're able to meet the needs of the city. We've applied for and received additional grants that we haven't had in the past. Some of the grants that we've received recently have been emergency management grants. So we had some damage down at Lions Levy Park that allowed us to do some repairs down there. It helped with the purchase of a fire truck. In addition, we'll have the local government aid. In 2013, our local government aid was $143,000, and now we're looking at $452,000 for 2014. Well, with the additional local government aid, that's helped a lot. And so that'll give us a little more flexibility, maybe be able to bring back some of the programs that we've had to cut in the past. We're looking at bringing on a part-time community service officer that we haven't had for a couple years. And hockey rink, wanting to do some upgrades with that. And seal coating our streets. We're gonna, we've looked at doing $40,000 worth of seal coating in the past, and we're looking to double that this next year. So hopefully maintain those new streets that we've been putting in for the past couple years. And then with the bonds that we're issuing later on this year, we'll have the money to purchase some capital items like a new police squad, equipment for the fire department, air packs, an air compressor that they need. The city hall needs a new HVAC system and a generator and some technology upgrades. All city staff play a part you know, in trying to do more or maintain the same level of service with less money. Department heads play a huge role in identifying some of the areas that maybe we can make those cuts, cutting back, and then making sure that we adhere to that and so that we don't go over budget. <laughs>